चैंपियन कोर्स किन के लिए है जो आई टी जी एडवांस का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं मेन्स का एग्जाम दे रहे हैं उनके लिए है ये कैसे ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं आपको यूट्यूब चैनल पे जाना है वहाँ पे ज्वाइन बटन है मेंबरशिप लेना है यूट्यूब का आप मेंबरशिप लोगे तो मैं इस चैनल इस कोर्स को ज्वाइन कर सकते हो इसमें आपको पूरा कोर्स करवाया जाएगा आपका लाइव डिस्कशन होगा डीपी दी जाएगी यानी पूरे ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री की कोर्स की गारंटी अच्छे से करवानी आपको सिखाने की मेरी होगी तो आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं यूट्यूब के मेम्बरशिप प्रोग्राम के थ्रू ज्वाइन बटन पर क्लिक हेलो टू एवरी नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड रीड हाइड्रोजनेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाइड्रोजनेशन नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हाइड्रोजनेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाइड्रोजनेशन मीन्स एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एडिशन ऑफ एच टू एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज नोन एज हाइड्रोजनेशन नाउ इफ वी एड एल्किन इन प्रजेंस ऑफ एल्किन विद एच टू नो रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस वाई नो रिएक्शन बिकॉज एच एच बॉन्ड इज सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज स्ट्रॉगर बॉन्ड This means this reaction takes place only in presence of catalyst. If we use metal as a catalyst, then this reaction takes place. Now this reaction is known as catalytic hydrogenation. Means addition of H2 in presence of catalyst is known as catalytic hydrogenation. So today we are going to study hydrogenation of alkene. Now, if we react alkene with D2 in presence of metal catalyst. different sources different books uses different catalyst we can use platinum palladium rhodium some sources they are using p2o2 which is known as adams catalyst some sources uses triphenyl rhodium chloride which is known as wilkinson catalyst some sources uses p2 catalyst nickel boride compound now what i want to explain you that mat hydrogenation takes place in presence of metal or complexes of metal now what is the product if d2 is add this means both d will add from same side and overall mechanism takes place syn syn means same side and it is a addition means syn addition so first of all write this reaction no reaction in presence of catalyst then write this reaction then you have to write this reaction so write in your class notes pause the video and write all three reaction in your class notes then i will explain you what is the mechanism now what is the mechanism first of all this is the metal as a catalyst there are vacant site on the metal this is the metal and the surface of the metal has vacant site if we add h2 there will be a adsor absorption absorption of h2 due to this absorption this weaker sigma bond will convert into strong sigma will convert into weaker bond so first of all metal react with h2 there will, there will be absorption and absorption decreases uh, absorption basically what do it converts sigma bond into weaker bond now now these hydrogen added one by one on alkene this means what type of addition it is it is syn addition i can explain this in general life for example there is a ground there is a field where the farmer used to crop their their basically what are rice and we can wheat etc there is a field and after there is a some for example there is a wheat wheat is growing there so this is a very strong field and wheat is growing there this is a, just a land having beautiful way of different uh, different we can say weeds are growing by harvesting by farmer got it so this represent gland and this is the wheat different weeds are there got it now when alkene passes through that wheat both hydrogen will added same side so what is the type of addition this is the type of addition is syn addition or we can explain in such a way that alkene is just like alkene is a helicopter alkene is a helicopter and when helicopter rescue some person by rope then helicopter rescue all the person from same side so this is the ground some people are standing on the ground and these ground people are attracted by the helicopter this means it is a syn addition and the good example is the field having wheat wheat is there and wheat in presence of wheat this is the field this is the wheat and this is the addition of alkene from same side what i want to explain means it is a syn addition 
Now, since H2 is not an electrophile or nucleophile, it is not an electrophilic nucleophilic addition reaction. This means which alkene is more reactive? Unstable is more reactive. We will not check nucleophilicity in this type of example because H2 is not an electrophile, it is not a nucleophile. This means unstable is more reactive. This alkene has 12 alpha and this has 6 alpha, this means it is more reactive. So, write this mechanism and this graph represent if you cannot use catalyst, this is the energy profile and if you use catalyst, this is the energy profile. Means catalyst decreases activation energy. And how catalyst decreases activation energy? Catalyst converted stronger bond into weaker bond. By converting strong bond into weaker bond, it decreases the activation energy of the reaction. So, write this in your class notes. Now, one of the very famous example is there. If we use benzene 3 mole of H2 nickel high temperature and pressure, what is the product? The product is cyclohexane. Similarly, if we use benzene 3 mole as to nickel high temperature pressure cyclohexane, if we use 2 mole again cyclohexane, if we use 1 mole again cyclohexane, how? Now, we have to explain why the molar ratio of H2 does not depend upon the product. Whatever the mole you will add in this reaction, you will get cyclohexane as the product. The same question is asked in IL phenyl in different way. In the IL phenyl volume in the solution book, the book asks one question ki if benzene react with H2 nickel, two intermediate will form I1, first of all one pi bond will reduce, then second pi bond reduce, then alkane will form. The question is that we cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2. Why intermediate I1, I2 cannot be isolated in this reaction? So, you have to write all these reactions write this reaction and think ki why we cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2 in this reaction and why irrespective of mole of H2 cyclohexane is formed. So, think about these two concepts then we will discuss, write and think. Now, this can be explained using a basic example of chemical kinetics. Suppose there is a reaction, complex reaction is going on this way. This is a complex reaction. A is reactant, B is product, I1, I2 is intermediate. This means A convert into I1, I1 convert into I2, I2 convert into B. The first step is the RDS. In a complex reaction, if first step is the RDS, then we cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2. If first step is the RDS, we cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2. Why? Because if RDS takes place, RDS is slowest step, this means remaining step will be the fast. So, once the slowest step takes place, then you cannot stop the reaction because reaction remaining steps are fast. Now, what is the meaning of this? Okay, this reaction is slow, this is fast. This means that this I1 is more reactive than A. Once the I1 will form and I1 is more reactive than A, this means I1 convert into I2. Since I2 is more reactive than A because it is going fast, again I2 will convert into B. So, in a chemical kinetics, if the first step is the RDS, then we cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2. First of all, write in your notes, in a complex reaction, if first step is the RDS, then you cannot isolate remaining intermediate of the reaction. Remaining intermediate can be isolated under the special conditions, which we cannot, uh, we, we will not assume any special condition. We think about a simple example in which first step is the RDS and remaining are fast. We cannot isolate intermediate I1, I2 because first step is the RDS. Now, we can explain this why irrespective of mole this product will form. So, for example, uh, for example, if we use 
99 molecule of benzene and 99 molecule of H2. Got it? Yani means we are using, so we are using one ratio one. Now what happened? When one molecule of benzene will react out of 99, one react, how many molecule of benzene will remain? It remain 98. And how many molecule of H2 is there? Now H2 is 98 and it will form this product. Got it? Once this product will form, it is more reactive than benzene. This means this will again react with H2. One more H2 will react, it will form this product. Now this is more reactive than benzene. Again, this will react fast. It will convert into benzene. Now how many mole of H2 will remain after consuming one mole? Benzene remain 98 and H2 will be 96. Because the product form is more reactive than benzene, this means product will react fast. When one mole of benzene will react, one molecule of benzene will react, it will consume three mole of H2. Got it? Now what happened in this reaction? When 33 molecule of benzene will react, all H2 will consume in this reaction. This means 66 molecule of benzene will unreact it. Got it? Now can you explain me? If I use one mole of benzene and three mole of H2, how many mole of benzene will remain? Zero. If I use one mole of benzene and two mole of H2, then what happened? Three mole of H2 react with one mole of benzene. If one mole of H2 react, then one by three mole of benzene will react. And how many will unreact? If you are using one mole of H2, two by three will remain unreact. Got it? If I using two mole of H2, one mole of H2 react with one by three mole of benzene. 2 mole of H2 react with 2 by 3 mole of benzene, how many will remain unreacted? Then in this case, unreacted will be 1 by 3. In this case, unreacted will be 2 by 3. Got it? Means we cannot isolate intermediate and second, the product is more reactive than reactant, that is why we cannot isolate intermediate. This is a very important concept. The first step is the RDS, no need of this. Now one more thing you have to remember, this is your point to remember. If we use S2 PDC, S2 PDC is used for selective reduction of alkene. Now what is the meaning of selective? One of the function group will reduce. It will selective reduction of alkene to alkene. S2 nickel is not selective. It will reduce alkene to alkene as well as ketone to alkene. Got it? Alkene convert into alkene, ketone convert into alcohol. So you have to remember that S2 PD is used for selective reduction of alkene. Now consider this example. In this example, if we use S2 PDC, this is 100 percent product means 100 percent ketone remain unaffected. Now from this example, I want to explain that it is highly selective. First it will reduce alkene. Now if we use S2 nickel, then it will reduce alkene as well as ketone. So write this example. Pause the video, write example. Now you have to, I will give you some examples. First of all, write down all these example in your class notes, write answers and then we will discuss further questions. Okay? You have, I will show you unsolved questions, you have to solve this, then you have to watch answers. Now before trying questions, uh, one more example is there. If I ask you, how many alkene, total number of alkene which react with S2 metal to give normal butane? How many alkene give normal butane? Total number of alkene. Now what is the meaning of total number of alkene? You have to include geometrical, optical, everything. In this case, answer is 3. How answer is 3? This is 1 butene. If we do hydrogenation of 1 butene, this will form. If we do hydrogen of cis 2 butene, same product. Class 2 butene, same product. Simply you have to do dehydrogenation. You have to remove H2 
you will get 1 butene. You have to remove H2, you will get 2 butene. Got it? So, what is the answer? Answer is our 3. Now, try the examples. Now, let us discuss the answer. Yeah. So, what is the answer for first? Since this is a syn addition, we already know it is a syn addition. This means we will add hydrogen, hydrogen above the plane, then hydrogen below the plane. But there is a plane of symmetry and it is mirror image. Therefore, they are identical. How many product will obtain? Only one product will obtain and it is a mesoisomer. So, it is very easy to draw product in syn addition because in syn addition, if there is a alkene is the reactant, we will add both atoms above the plane and both atoms below the plane. So, in syn addition, we have two options to form a product. This means from one alkene in syn addition, more than two products are not possible. Now, in similarly example 2, addition of HH, since there is no car center, only one product. In D, addition of D2, this is mirror image, DD above the plane, below the plane, this is mirror image, this means it is a racemic mixture, two in isomer will form. Got it? Now, in example 4, addition of D2 above the plane, D2 below the plane and this car center is fixed, therefore diastereomer. In example 5th, S2 above the plane, where the isomer will form, S2 below the plane, dash isomer will form. Now, what is the relation? They are mirror images. How they are mirror images? You can just simply put mirror here, you will get this mirror image. Or from one more way, we can explain this. Hydrogen is in dash, OH on wedge. Now, this is on wedge, this means this is on dash. If I interchange one pair, I will get this isomer. Means interchanging odd pair, I will get this isomer. This means one of the isomer is S, then other one will be the R. What about 6? S2 above the plane and below the plane, and this is fixed. This is fixed. This means it is a diastereomers. Now, in example 7, when you will add HH H H above the plane and below the plane, you will get two isomer. This isomer has plane of symmetry and this is also plane of symmetry, but they are not mirror images. They are different isomer. This is also meso, this is also meso. If we draw mirror image of symmetrical molecule, then they are identical. If they are those different molecule, and both have different symmetry, different, it does not depend, they are not identical. What I want to explain you, two meso are always diastereomer. There is a symmetry, but this is not mirror images. This is different isomer. This means how many product will form? In this case, two product will form. And what is the relation between these two? These two are diastereomer. Two different meso will form in this reaction. Now in example 8, HS above the plane and below the plane but they are identical. 
because if I just uh, rotate this ring across this isomer, across this axis, if I rotate this ring, exactly I will get another isomer. If I rotate this, this dash convert into wedge and this wedge convert into dash. This will form and if I rotate this, the OH is below the plane and after rotation OH is above the plane. This means if I rotate, I will get this isomer, this means they are identical. So, how many product will form? It is 1. And what about 9? HS above the plane, below the plane, I will get cis and another there is a trans. What is the relation? Diastereomers. In 10th, S2 can be added above the plane and below the plane, again diastereomer will form. In this case, S2 add above the plane, below the plane and this is fixed, again diastereomer will form. Now in example 12, this is cis alkene and D2 metal is syn addition. If DD is add below the plane, I will get this isomer and it is a plane of symmetry. Two product are possible, DD add above, below the plane, DD add above the plane, but I will get mirror image of this isomer and since it is a symmetrical mirror image, therefore they are identical. How many product will form? Only one and it is meso. Now in example 13, this geometry is truss. If I add DD below the plane, I will get this isomer and it is trans. This means methyl on left and methyl on right. If there is a cis, then both methyl must be on same side. This is the carbon, this valency is the left hand side of carbon. This is the carbon, this valency on right hand side of the carbon. This means it is a trans isomer. And similarly, I can draw one more product from DD above the plane. And this is methyl left and methyl right. Now, what is the relation between these two? These two are racemic, these two are in a isomer. In example 14, we will, it is a cis geometry, S2 add below the plane, we will get this isomer, it is a plane of symmetry, one isomer will, one product will form and it is only one, which is meso. This is trans, when we add H2 below the plane, above the plane, we will get mirror image. So how many product will form? Two racemic mixer and two are in isomer. Got it? Now in example 16, if there is a more than one phenyl ring, more than one aromatic ring, it is very easy to draw the product. The resonance energy of one benzene is 152 kilojoule per mole. This is the resonance energy of benzene. If there is a formation of two benzene, this means resonance energy will be 304. And resonance energy of naphthalene is approximately 255. So which is more stable? Means if we have to choose naphthalene and we have to choose 2 benzene, which one is more stable? 2 benzene is more stable than naphthalene. Because of 1 benzene resonance energy 152, 2 benzene resonance energy 304. This is 304 resonance energy, this is 255 resonance energy. More resonance energy, more stability. Now in this case, we have an option of hydrogenation. I can either I can do hydrogenation of right hand side ring or we can do hydrogenation of central ring. Now we will prefer central ring, uh, we will do hydrogenation on the central ring. Why central ring? Because of formation of two individual benzene. Two benzene are very stable. This is a very important statement. Two benzene are very stable. I explain you ki why I did not do hydrogenation on right hand side ring because there is a formation of naphthalene. We will prefer two benzene ring. Now in 17, this is phi or phenyl or you can also write C6S5, they all are same. And S2 is syn addition, so there is a formation of car center and one pair will change, enantiomer will form two product will form. And we know that S2PDC is used for selective reduction of alkene. So first of all, alkene convert into alkene. 
how many alkene will form isopentane? This is isopentane, we can form alkene here, alkene here, alkene here. And none of them is showing geometrical isomerism. This means how many alkene can form? Three. Which three alkene? First one is this, second one is this, and third one is this. Got it? How many alkene on hydrogenation give neopentane? We cannot draw corresponding alkene of neopentane. Why corresponding alkene is not possible? Because for dehydrogenation, there must be a presence of two hydrogen on adjacent atom. Since there is no hydrogen, so we cannot do dehydrogenation of neopentane. This means if we form pi bond here, this carbon valency will be pentavalent. And if this structure is not possible because carbon is pentavalent. We cannot prepare neopentane by alkene. The same question can be asked in such a way, which alkene cannot be prepared by Marconigo of addition of alkene? Marconigo of addition of alkene, which alkene cannot be prepared? We cannot prepare neopentane. What about this normal pentane? We can put alkene here, we can put alkene here and this alkene will show GI because of cis and trans 2 pentene and 1 pentene, answer will be 3. And we already discussed in case of aromatic ring, S2 nickel all pi bond will reduce irrespective of mole of H2 because first step is the RDS. This means phenol on hydrogenation give cyclohexanol. And what is the product if I use 2 mole of H2? Same product. What is the product 3 mole of S2? Same product 2.5 mole, same product 2.1, same product. Now, if there is a dienes, in case of dienes, there is a 1, 4 addition. This S2 can undergo 1, 4 addition. This pi bond move here, this pi bond move here, this bond move here. Yani if S2 undergo addition with 1, 3 butadiene, there is a 1, 4 addition product will form. Got it? Now that's all for today. You have to write, you have to maintain proper lecture. You have to write all the solved examples, all the examples which I am discussing. Even the animated quizzes question must be written in your notes. Then it will be highly useful when you are doing revision at the end of the session. Got it? You have to write each and everything. You have to write the notes, you have to write the DPP etc., which I will uh, share in a WhatsApp group and you have also write the animated quiz questions along with the answer. So, once you will completed the course, then you will go for entire revision and during revision, you have to revise each and everything whatever you have learned in previous months. Thank you and if you have any doubt, you are, feel, you are free to write in the comment box. Thank you. Jai Hind.